guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I'm doing a video I never thought I was going to do, and that is an empties video, because I don't tend to use stuff up. I tend to buy more and more and more and more stuff or backups of things, and I just don't go through stuff. So I'm really proud, and I'm really excited, and I wanted to share my empties with you. Um, I wasn't able to find a couple of them. I think I already recycled two of the foundations that I did go through, but I did go through a Fenty foundation, which I know was in one of my previous videos that um, I, you guys saw when I ran out of it. And then another one that I went through was the Dior Forever foundation. That one I would not repurchase. The Fenty I've already repurchased. So um, a few other things that I've gone through is makeup wipes. Um, I go through makeup wipes like nobody's business, so I went through a whole thing of the Neutrogena regular blue ones, which is just the regular cleansing towelettes, and I also went through one of the Neutrogena night calming ones. Um, I love both of these. Neither one of them irritate my eyes. However, I did find a cheaper alternative to the night calming ones, which is the Beauty 360. It's a brand from CVS, and I like it just as much as the Neutrogena ones. So would I repurchase the Neutrogena ones if they're the only ones available? Yes, but otherwise, no. So if I can buy these for cheaper, why not, right? Um, well, let me see. Hold on. I just dropped one of the things I was going to uh, show you. Okay. So I went through two of these. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Concealer. I definitely think I would repurchase this again. I compare it to the Shape Tape. Um, it's not exactly like it by any means. I think the Shape Tape is very unique, I guess. It's very full coverage, but I feel like this has more hydration to it. The Shape Tapes, which I have two of these empties as well, one in Fair and one in Fair Neutral, um, which I don't know if I would repurchase again, even though I love it and it's one of the best concealers I've ever used. They did raise the price to $27 for one concealer. I just, I don't know. But I also want to try the Too Faced, the Newborn This Way concealer. Um, and I have a few other ones that I need to use up. So at this point in time, I won't repurchase Shape Tape, but I can't say I would never repurchase Shape Tape. Um, and these are a really good alternative. Um, like I said, they have more hydration, they're not as drying, and they're only $7 as opposed to $27. So I think I would repurchase the Makeup Revolution one over the Shape Tape. Um, one mascara that I went through is the Maybelline Total Temptation. Um, it smells like coconut, which I don't mind. I could probably get more out of this, like I'm not saying it's completely empty, but I do like to replace my mascara at least once every three months maximum. Um, usually I replace mine once every month and a half just because I do go through mascara and use it on almost a daily basis. So I think it's just best to do that. Um, I went through this. This was a free gift. Um, I bought something from Macy's and I got like a Lancome little free gift set. And this is the Regenery Lift uh, concentrate so it's like a serum and the sample I don't know what the full size comes in but came with like this little weird paddle and I I did like it um I don't know if I'd buy the full size one because I really like the Clinique turnaround serum which I'll talk about in a skincare video that I'm going to do so this was not the best serum I've ever used so I probably would not repurchase this one um, I went through two setting sprays. Um, one is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This was the coconut scented. This was from like their Fruit Juicy collection. It has just the tiniest amount still left in it that I could, you know, spray on my face. Yeah, it has maybe one or two uses left. But um, I will be keeping the bottle and I'm going to put my other Fix Plus in here because I just think the packaging is adorable, which is why I bought it. Um, and then the other one is, and this one, this one I like to like meld the powders into your skin. I don't really feel like this sets your makeup, or at least it doesn't set mine all day. So, um, this is an Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. I have this one, which I went through one of these. There's like the tiniest amount at the bottom, um, which is, it just becomes difficult to use, you know, like it doesn't really want to fully spray. Um, and then I have the matte version of that. My mom did get me two of these and one more of these when she was in Australia recently. So 
Um, I'm really happy about that because I did go through one of these and I went through one of these. So, um, and I definitely would repurchase these. I love these. I think they smell really good. I think they make your makeup last all day. Um, my cousin sent me the first round of setting sprays that I got from Australia and my mom got me the other ones. So, but if I ever had to repurchase them, like by buying them online, as long as the shipping wasn't crazy, I would definitely repurchase them. Um, anything else makeup related? No. Uh, yes. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This was a sample that I was sent, um, or it was like a 100 point perk. Um, again, this had that weird paddle that the Lancome stuff had. This Hourglass Primer is amazing. It is expensive though. Um, but I would say that it is better than a lot of the high-end primers that I've tried. I think it's awesome and I probably will repurchase it although you only use the tiniest amount and they do sell it in like a mini size so I might buy like the smaller size versus the big one but we'll see. Um, at this point in time though I don't need another primer because I have the you know small thing of the Tatcha which I want to buy the full size one of. I have like drugstore primers that I love. I have the optical um, optical illusion primer yeah from Urban Decay. So I have a bunch of primers at the moment but I definitely that is something that I would repurchase or not repurchase purchase. Um, this is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse. This is my cleanser that I use every single day. I love this stuff and actually I ran out of it which is why I had gone to Marshall's if you saw my Marshall's uh, vlog and they didn't have it so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and go to Sephora and get more because ever since I ran out of this um, my skin has been problematic. I have had a few breakouts. Um, you can't see them at the moment because I have makeup on but um, I've had a few breakouts. My skin has been I don't know just not itself and um, I had not gotten a zit in I'm not joking like a couple of years um, since I started using this stuff so even though it is pricey I would definitely and will definitely from now on woo, <laughs> always repurchase this and make sure that I never run out if I can help it so um, I will definitely be getting another one of that and then this is the body wash that I've been loving so this is the vanilla milk um, scent and right now I'm using like a peach nectarine one um, you can get these at Walgreens and you can get them at Giant um, they're like anywhere between like three and nine dollars um, usually like I get them for like $4.99 at Walgreens but um, it is, I don't know, it's really good. It smells really, really good. Like this one smells like vanilla frosting. Um, the peach nectarine one is really like refreshing, like very citrusy smelling. Um, and I just really like it. It The scent stays with you for a little bit, but like if you, you know, smell your skin, like you can smell it, but it's not like overpowering or anything like that. And I just really think it makes your skin soft and I just really like it and it doesn't leave your skin feeling like greasy or like you have conditioner on it or anything like that. It's just a really good shower gel. So yeah, I liked it and I did repurchase it. Um, this was the Miss Universe <laughs> version of the Chi Restage Dry Shampoo. Um, I wish they still sold this. If they do, um, I would definitely repurchase it. This is probably the best uh, dry shampoo I've used so far. Um, I used the, I bought the Batiste because a lot of people said that it was great, but it left a white cast on my hair. And I mean, I know that you can like, you know, do this to rub it in, but I don't want to do that. So um, this one did not leave a white cast on my hair at all, and it smells really, really good. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a fruity scent, but not too strong. Well. It's strong when you first put it on, but it goes away very quickly. The Batiste one stayed with me, um, was very strong, gave me a headache, and left a white cast on my hair. Um, so I would not repurchase the Batiste, but I haven't, I haven't even used it up, so I don't really know what to do with it. Um, 
maybe I'll give it to my friend that's blonde because I know that with people with blonde hair, usually like the white cast doesn't show up as much. Um, I went through this as another Lancome product. I would definitely repurchase this. Um, it is expensive, but it is the Visionaire. It is a multi, uh, advanced multi-correcting cream and it's basically just like a nighttime moisturizer. You could use it in the day as well. I just used it for nighttime because I don't need anything. I have combination skin and if I use something overly moisturizing then my skin will become oily. If I use something not moisturizing enough my skin will become dry. So I would either use this before makeup to make my makeup glide on really nicely or night cream. Um, and this was free. I, it, was not in the same free gift as the other stuff because they're from a different line of skincare from Lancome, but I definitely would repurchase the full size of this one. It just made my skin really, really smooth, and it was really good for putting underneath makeup. Um, this is something that I use all the time. This is the Oil of Valet Regenerist, and it is, she is empty. There's like maybe a dollop left at the bottom. Whoever says dollop. Um, so this is a... The reason it's called Regenerist is because it causes your skin cells to regenerate and so you basically always have like new like fresh skin and you put it on, I put it on at nighttime, and then when I wake up I just feel like my skin is really plump and hydrated and just really smooth and I absolutely love this. I've been using it for at least five years now and I love, 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 love it. It never breaks me out. It never over moisturizes my skin. It never under moisturizes my skin. So I really, really love it. Um, and I think, well, there's one more thing that I'm almost out of this one. This is the rose toner. And you can see there's like less than a quarter of this left. My hubby got this for me at Trader Joe's. It's $3.99. It is the best facial toner I've ever used. And I... He got it because I was out of my Kopari Rose uh, Coconut Toner and he thought that I would like it. So he gave it to me to try and I absolutely love it. So I think that is the last item that I went through. Nope, I lied once again. <laughs> I did go through one of these. This is the Marc Jacobs, um, uh, da, da, da. the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I love this mascara and I recently got another one sent to me from Sephora. It was either, no, it was a promo code. So always, always, always look in their promo code section under beauty offers on their website if you order from them because you can put in a promo code and get something for free. But yeah, again, this one I'd been using for a while so it was just time to stop using it. I could probably use it for another two or three months if I thought that was sanitary, but I don't. So that is the last of my empties. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. By the way, I did do a tutorial on this makeup look and in the tutorial, I did try putting on some lashes. So if you want to see something funny, stay tuned for that video. Um, I've since taken off the lashes, so that's why I'm not wearing them now, but I did film a look, uh, and this was using the Violet Voss Flamingo palette. So that will be coming up, hence my flamingo shirt. Um, that'll be coming up soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.